All right. Um, you're having a heck of a time getting these to thicken. At least, at least mine wasn't thicken. I had this mirrored and stitched, right? And the thicken crashed in the last video. So I started thinking about a different way to do this. Um, I think will work quite nicely. So I, I'm able to thicken one side without issue. Um, and the way thicken works is it sends it out, the material out from the surface, kind of perpendicular to the surface. So some of the issue is that. So I'm going to send the thicken inwards here. Um, and it fails when they're overlapping and it, it can't compute it basically. So I'll hit OK. This should thicken this, no problem. Um, gives you this error, that's OK. I'm just going to hit Accept. I'm going to make that surface not visible. Sometimes the surfaces are visible to mess things up. Now, I could try mirroring this surface here across the middle work plane, but you see how these edges aren't flat? They kind of are buckling out because of the way it's sending the material for the plane. I have this idea that what I could do here is start a sketch on one of these work planes. All right. Basically, just extrude this off. Just extrude this off. Why? I don't even know where this is happening right now. I change my view here. I'm just going to go all. All right. And what this should do is you skim everything off, so it's pretty darn flat. What the heck is that? Hit OK. And now what I have is is it flat? Not quite. Right. Looks like in the back it kind of curves in. Let's go look at the back here. No, I guess it is fairly flat. It just gets really thin in that back wall the way it thickens, huh? Or is it flat? Let's look at it from the top. Yeah, it's pretty flat. All right, so now what I'm going to do is mirror that. All right, so mirror this feature. whole thing. Now let me just mirror. Actually, I'd probably just do um, mirror solids, which will just do the whole whole thing, not individual features. The mirror plane, I should be able to just select this plane. Hit OK. And now look, there's this really sharp edge on that, which is pretty cool. And fits together much better. Really nice solution there, I think, to how you can thicken this and make it nice and symmetric. Shave it all flat and then mirror it. Now, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to send a, a border of some kind around this. So, um, I'm going to start a 3D sketch. I, I might end up doing the same thing with this, if I think about it. Maybe I should do this before I mirror it. Um, hmm. Well, we'll see. Alright, so start a 3D sketch. I want to include that geometry, which is right there. Alright, now, finish sketch. I'm going to work, make a work plane. Normal to curve at a point. So I'm going to do that curve. I guess I'll do them in the front here. At that point. All right, so that's a work point at the very end here. Oops. I didn't want to start a 3D sketch. I'm going to start a 2D sketch on that work point. All right. So now what this is going to be is shape. I'm going to make it a, oh, make it a rectangle. I'll make it a center point rectangle. All right. Usually you want Two point center. I'm going to send it right here. All right, something. Yeah, I'll make it point all. I know three five point all five. All right, all right, and I'm going to actually. I think I'll fill it the corners here before I. Right. Oops. I'm going to do this a little bit. 
maybe I'll just do it at the end. Alright, finish sketch. Now I'm gonna sweep that shape along that line. Alright, and send it to the back. Okay. Now I could mirror that. Alright. To mirror that. And where it joins in the front does not look so great. Now, the same thing in the back, right? It has this weird overlap. Um, I think the solution there is to, again, do that sweep before I mirror it. Or, make a cap for it, right? Like, snooze usually will have like a cap on the front and back, right? To kind of catch them together. I like the shape of that. I like the sharp edge. I could a slight fillet on the edges if I wanted to. I don't know if it'll find it or not. It's giving me an error, but that's kind of to be expected. Okay, so there's point oh one. Let's see if it can do this or not. I'm gonna hit apply before it crashes on me. before it crashes on me. Get over to this side. Go at that edge. Go at that edge. Alright, the fly before it crashes on me. Alright, we got this detailed edge now. Um I think I am gonna make the caps on it. So Neither of these are flat, right? Um, I'm going to kind of just make a work plane here. Right on the top here. And build, cover it, basically just cover it with some material. Um, I guess I'll save that for the next video here where I add some more detail.